Hi, my name is Richard Walters. In this demonstration, we're going to look at project summary tasks as well as outlining in Microsoft Project. These will now be covered in this demonstration. In this demonstration, we're going to look at project summary tasks and outlining. So here, what we've got is a marketing section which has got four tasks. So task one, two, three, and four, which happens to be ID two, three, four, and five. So I want these tasks to be within the marketing section. So marketing duration reads the duration of the different tasks. So we're gonna first produce the summary task for marketing, and then we'll start joining the tasks together. So to produce the summary task, you always highlight the IDs underneath the heading. Somehow I highlight ID 2 to ID 5. Task tab, schedule section of the ribbon. And it's the arrow pointing to the right, which is the indent task. And that gives us a seven day duration because what the project's doing right now, it's giving you the duration of the longest task within that section. Now marketing can be minimized. So I'll click the arrow next to it. And there we can just see the head in, it can be expanded. And we're now gonna join all four tasks together. So I'll highlight ID two to five. And we're gonna produce a finish the start link. So I'll just use the standard link chain. And what we can now see is advertising, the marketing section has now given us a 16 day duration. And that's added up the three plus the four plus the two plus the seven. So that's where that 16 is coming from. I'm now going to put in a different section called advertising. And I'm going to leave marketing open, expanded. So, and this is a dangerous thing to do when you're producing summary tasks, is leaving a, a summary task open. And we'll see this now. So, I've now put in my advertising section. If I now minimize marketing, I can see that advertising is within marketing and that's what I don't want. So I'm gonna expand marketing again. Now I'm gonna outdent advertising. So I'm highlighting the task for advertising and I'm gonna use the outdent feature, which is the arrow pointing to the left on the task tab in the schedule section of the ribbon. And if I minimize marketing again, it's now by itself. I'm now gonna follow the same idea as the marketing section. I'm gonna put in four more tasks. And I'm gonna join them all together. But after I've produced the summary tasks, I'll least produce the summary task first. So again, I double check that um, advertising is not under marketing, which it isn't, I can see that. But it's still good practice anyway to keep it minimized. Now I'm gonna concentrate on the advertising section. It's by D7 to 10, and I want them to be indented. And I now want the them all linked together as well. But first let me give them some durations. So task one I'll say is a five day, then I'll say it's an eight day, then a two day. Then we'll say uh, 15 days. Okay, so advertising takes on 15 days right now. That's because it's the longest duration in the section. I'm gonna join them all together. And our advertising changes to 30, which is the five plus eight plus two plus 15. And I can minimize this one by itself. Now there's a quicker way of minimizing and maximizing. We can use what's called outline view. So on the view tab, data section of the ribbon, outline. At the minute, I've got all my tasks hidden, but I'll say show all subtasks. Now say that I only wanted to see the headings, marketing and advertising. You can go back to the outline, and level one means all your main headings. So I'm gonna now show only the level one headings. And there's my marketing and advertising. I'm gonna expand them again and outline. 
And if you wanted to, when doing this kind of work, you could put a blank row between the different sections. So I'll do that for ID6. Go to the Task tab. Insert section of ribbon. And Task drop an arrow, blank row. So it's something that makes your sections look neater. Now at the moment, I've got marked in advertising separate. And we can prove this by displaying the project summary task. So I'll use the project summary task on the Gantt chart format tab, show hide section of the ribbon, and project summary task. So we can see the, the total is only showing 34 advertising. What I'm trying to do here, I want the combination of marketing plus the advertising to give me a total of 46 days. So I'm going to join advertising to marketing. So I'm going to double click on the ID7 predecessors and I'm going to join that to ID1, which is marketing, and finish the start. Click OK, and there's the 46 day finish. And this now demonstrates how project can be used for producing project summary tasks, getting rid of the project summary tasks, and how useful outlining view is for this kind of work. This now completes the demonstration on project summary tasks and outlining. See you in the next video.